Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm decided to do a quick, not a quick actually, a chatty get ready with me while we're on vacation. We're in Mexico in case you didn't know. I've been kind of MIA from social media because I'm just taking this time to enjoy the time with the kids and just trying to unwind myself. It's been really nice. We still have a few more days here, so I'm excited. The way we do things here is that we're in the sun, in the pool all day, and then we shower and go for dinner and then go for, to a show. It's kind of a routine, but a really nice, awesome, laid back routine. I had a couple of minutes because Jake is at uh, not Jake, <laughs> Gary is taking a bath with the boys and Max is with Nori. So I was like, why wouldn't I do a get ready with me? Okay, I have to say I'm loving vacation hair. I love when my hair gets exposed to the sun, gets a little bit dry, but I'm using this Pantene deep conditioner every like couple of days just to soften it up and give it a little fuel. It took a quick shower but I don't want to wash my hair because I washed it yesterday so I'm just gonna let it just gonna let it be okay so tip when you are on vacation and you spend the day in the sun um, you want to make sure that you take off all that sunscreen because it can be a buildup on your skin and then it's just gonna congest it and then you get pimples not a good look so I actually brought this little like, I brought uh, this little Tatcha polished uh, rice enzyme powder. I don't know, I just had like a sample size, so I'm just gonna, not a sample size, a travel size from Sephora. But you basically want to make sure that you exfoliate with like a gentle exfoliator every couple of days just to like get all the gunk out. So that's what I'll be doing. This was not meant to be a skincare routine at all. But I haven't washed my skin yet, so we'll have to do it. So on this trip, I officially finished my breastfeeding journey. I reached three months, which made me super, super proud. I haven't breastfed any of my other kids longer than two weeks. Ben was like four days. What? For me, I thought to myself, if I'm gonna make it to one month, I'll be super proud. And then I pushed it to two months, and then I pushed it to three months. And now here we are. With the schedule, it's very difficult to maintain. Like, first of all, I hate pumping. I hate it so much. It was very difficult to maintain for me um, breastfeeding Max just because I go to the office or I do other things with work. And then I have the boy schedule and their activities that I take them to. So it became really hectic and made me like getting really stressed out. So I decided that three months is great, good for me, and now he can move to uh, being formula fed. I never had a problem with formula. I'm just happy that I had the opportunity to breastfeed him this long. So, yay! And now we're back. Hopefully my boob size will stay. That would be really nice, but I know that's not gonna happen. Uh, okay, wash my face. So if you wonder why I'm not tan at all, it's because I don't let my skin get exposed to the sun. I have freckles and fairly fair skin. Okay on my body, but my face, I'm just too scared. God, I used to really bake in the sun back in the day, back when I didn't care about aging. I don't know if it will ever come. Okay, a little rose water. Oh, I guess it is a skincare routine now. Uh, doing a little serum with Caudalie Radiant Serum. Also, just because I have it in the travel size, and I do like Caudalie, so we're good to go here. So we're gonna get to the makeup part, I promise. But I just hope I do everything fast enough before they're done taking a bath. We came on this vacation with my mom and her husband Dima and it's been really nice. Um, although Gary and I love traveling just us alone and like have grown on vacation, it's really nice to be with like all the kids and the family. I'm gonna start with this Color Science All Calm Redness Correction yeah. just to even out all the skin. It's like a bazaar here. Okay, 
just evening out my skin tone. I got like a bite here and a bite here. It's a nice welcome to Mexico present for me. I thought that it was really nice to have my parents here, my mom and my stepdad. And next time we're gonna make Dennis and Bob come with us as well. Get some brows happening. These kind of trips really show you such a picture of like the kids' personalities. Jakey just can't wait to get his hands on a new victim, a stranger, that he can tell all his life story to and about his girlfriends, their dates of birth, you know, things like that. So, um, yeah, we have to like keep following him because he just like wanders around and then finds someone to talk to. And these poor people don't know what they're getting themselves into. They think that they're just like being nice to this sweet little looking boy. And then he just sits there and he doesn't move. Like today on the beach, there was a lady sitting uh, beside us and she had her baby with her. And she was playing with him, it was maybe like two years. And Jay just sat down, he asked her like, how was your day? She said, good, she responded. And he's like, okay, I'm gonna be here now for the next hour. And he just like, I had to be like, Jake, she wants to spend time with her son. You have to go. It's like, no, she keeps talking to me. She wants to listen to me. So yeah, that's most of the conversation we're having with Jake on this trip. Using a little concealer. I don't like to use foundation on trips. My skin is far from perfect right now. I don't know if you can see because the light is pretty good. I have some like, just like a little bit of acne, uh, not acne, like pimple scarring that I need to take care of. And then my freckles, but I really like to keep it light. So I won't be using a foundation instead of just using my RMS Uncover Up uh, concealer. Cool. And then I usually, when I travel to um, like hot climates, I usually have the Charlotte Tilbury. It's basically like a cream where it's a moisturizer and then it comes out white. And then when you break it on your face, it like there's these tiny beads and they put color on your face. So it's like you, create, you get this like natural glow from the cream. So I usually take that and I apply it on my face, especially in the evenings when I go out. Then I at all don't use like anything but a little bit of concealer under eye, if that, but I did forget it this time. So to make sure I look a little bit, a little sun glow, um, I'm just gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury, what is it? The bronzer. Why is it so difficult for me to talk? This is the Filmstar bronze. And because it's a very natural bronzer that just really creates that like glow, I'm just gonna spread it all over my face. Oh, this is so much better. This is really it. I'm just gonna put a little bit here. Okay, skin is done. I use this, my RMS Luminaza Quad. I'm totally favoring only one. That's done. Then I'm gonna be using this new by nature lower defining mascara in black. This is a natural brand. This is it really. Okay, and then my go-to for a little cheek and lip tint, especially when I travel because this is kind of a two-in-one, is the Tata Harper Voluminizing Lip and Cheek Tint in Very Naughty. This is my favorite color. And then, last but not least, just to make sure my forehead is not a disco ball, I actually discovered this, I think I got it sent to me from Vale 
Automat. That's the name of the product. I think it's Veil Cosmetics. I've never seen this company before. It's made in Canada, yeah. But it's basically, I use it as a powder to keep shine away. What I like about it is that I use it, literally just use my finger and it's like this wax or something. So I kind of like it, especially on in places like this where I want to minimize the amount of powders I have on me. Okay, this looks like there's a red spot here, but it's because of the bite, mosquito bite. This is like my every night look on vacation. Literally nothing is different from my everyday makeup look. I'm not even gonna try to brush this. I'm just gonna roll with it. it has a very mermaidy vibes. We'll just go with it. This works. Let's see what I'm gonna wear tonight. pretty cold so I think I'm gonna go for something a little more cozy. What is it? Like a captain? Um, so I think I'm gonna wear tonight just like a black dress. Let's try it on. Okay, I want to make sure it's super simple. I took this like very basic black dress put this caftan on it because it is quite cold today. Just wanna be cozy with my little gladiator boots, uh, boots, shoes, sandals, little gold accent. And this is it really. Just wanna feel comfortable. This is it you guys, I'm ready to go eat. And um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a lookbook for this vacation because I have some really cute outfits. Just waiting for the right occasion. Some of them are just waiting to get a little bit more color. But just a little sneak peek, this obsessed. Okay, this one, I bought it right before I came. This is like a top and pants. Anyways, I'm gonna show it to you guys. So this is it, a quick vacation get ready with me. This get ready with me took longer than you, my usual get ready with me on vacations because I'm with the kids, I don't have this luxury of time. But Gary was a champ and he went into the bath with them so I could make this video. And this is it, and now we're gonna go. We're gonna have a little tequila and some dinner and Maybe we'll even watch a movie tonight with Gary because up until now we would crash at like 9 p.m. and go to sleep, which has been a dream, by the way, it has been a dream. So thank you guys so much for watching. Straight from my bathroom in Mexico. Love you, I'll see you next time.